All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Legacy of Cain, or Blood Omen. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Yes, this game is actually called Blood Omen. The Legacy of the Cain is kind of the subtitle. We're here again in Nupraptor's Fortress, the so-called Fortress of the Mind. However, <laughs> it would seem that Nupraptor's Fortress has been breached by the assaults of madness. He has stricken down his servants, the pilgrims who came to seek wisdom from him, and has afflicted all the Circle of Nine with his madness. From his grief for Ariel, who was murdered. I don't know. It's time for Cain to do something about it. Now, this is like the second time I've recorded this, although it's like the seventh or eighth time I've tried to record this. Because the first time, I don't know, the first part of the recording, the sound was messed up. So hopefully it's working this time. We'll see. So let's go. So, Malik, uh -oh. have you come to fail the circle once more? Leave, Paladin. I do not need your protection. Come, Cain. Come, share my pain. Oh, wow. He seems stable. Well, there was Malik. Malik the, par the Paladin of the Seraphan. Cam come to try to defend Nupraptor despite him being nutty as an outhouse rat. <coughs> but, you know, he's like, Meow! So, this was the mentalist Nupraptor, this broken, pathetic little man. Yet crippled <laughs> as he was, he would not yield without battle. Very well, old fool. Old if it is death fool. you seek, I will not deny you. Oh, wow. That's nice of you, Kane. Now here he is, Number Raptor. It's a nifty little gimmicky little battle. Not very hard. But then again, this is the first boss battle, so maybe it's not supposed to be hard. <coughs> so yep, you just do this, you Ah yeah. And the, see the floor is changing as well. Now there's spikes where before there were not. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> oh, oh geez. I almost walked right into it. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Whap! Uh oh. Now watch these skulls are gonna fly out. Woohoo! <coughs> I. Got him. Oh, do you see his head? Oh, look it. Right there on his head. <laughs> that laughing, though. Perhaps the head of her beloved will convince Ariel that I have accomplished my task. Your task? So there's Nupraptor's body. You see? It's missing its head. There's the head right over here. Let's scoop it on up. Alrighty. Here, let's look in our um, menu. Look in our items. Now we can look over here. Play. Right here. Nupraptor's head. Alas, poor Nupraptor. I knew him well. Well, not really. Well, not really. <laughs> look at it. The eyes are sewn shut. The mouth is sewn shut. So was he talking to us despite having his mouth sewn shut? Or was he like, like projecting that into Malik and Kane's minds, I, I I wonder. These are the real questions we got to ask ourselves. Man, what a chump! What a chump! Nutty and feeble. Yo, oh, here we are. Look, the mace. The mace is amongst my most useful of weapons, for it merely stuns my victims, allowing me ample time to feed. Yep. Or in my case, ample time to. Leave off. The mace if I want to. is a mo oh, no no no. Let's there we are. See, Spiked there. mace. Spiked mace. It also allows us to get past these stone obstacles. Super freaking useful. And these chests, they they're arm they're sealed, but you can hammer them open. And 
and there we are. Time to travel back to the pillars. This is really cool. Man, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. I placed Nupraptor's head before the Pillar of the Mind and watched on as it dissolved into the stone. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Nupraptor was but the genesis. Forever tainted by his madness, the circle was beyond redemption. Beyond For them, redemption. absolution lay only in death. In me, they would find their deliverance. But first I had to defeat their shepherd. Malek, defender of the Nine, lay in a keep to the far north, past Vasabunt. It was time for me to test the wrath of the Pillar of Conflict. Death in the circle breathes life to the pillars. For every pillar there is a token. Only with these shall they be restored. But to reach a warrior, you must first breach his ward. Find Malak and destroy him. Only then will the circle fall. All right. Wow. That's really cool. So yes, there's Ariel. And there's the Pillar of the Mind. Look at it. All shiny and restored. Very cool. Yes, that, that head that he brought, Nutraptor's head, symbol of his mind, that restored the pillar. So now we have to go and try to restore the pillar of conflict but that requires defeating Malak and that's not gonna probably be so easy there's a good question how are we go how are we gonna restore the pillar of balance that's an interesting question will it restore once all the other eight pillars are restored or does Ariel have to go or does something else we shall see we shall see all right I'm trying to think what would be the best thing to do at this moment um hmm we have a lot of stuff we could get with our newfound weaponry. Maybe we should fly back to Vasabunt. Okay, that is Malak's Bastion. That's where we're heading. We could fly to Nutraptor's retreat, and uh, so then and then we'll go back to Vasabun and backtrack some. I gestured like you can see my hand. Hmm. What was it? Oh, there was. That was really cool. Right, we keep our wits about us. That is the, the cutscene for flying to Fortress of the Mine. But we need to check out some other stuff first. Or at least we're going to. That way up there that we just opened, that is the way north. Or the way in, further on. Yes, yes, uh, dude, leave me alone. I didn't do anything. That was not completely warranted, anyways. Woohoo! Alright. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> can't catch me, can't catch me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that sounds like I'm having a mental breakdown. Maybe I. What's it to you? 
Oh, jeez. Okay, how the heck do I get out of here? Maybe I go this way? No, probably not. We'll just try going this way. Ooh, that's right. What's here? More of that corruption or carrying, whatever it was, spell or item. Makes you wonder what this dude is up to. Yeah, 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 whatever. Anything up here? What is up with this place? That lady's like, hey, get the hell out! Get out! Now! Huh. Anything over here? Man, that lady's got dead son. Beaten Kane into submission. It looks like a, like a, some sort of laboratory. An alchemist lab, or I have no idea. Kind of looks like an alchemist lab. Hmm. Cool. I don't know if there's anything special in here besides what we just got. It was sealed off, so you'd think there would be, but uh, darn if I know. There's some pretty wild secrets in this game, like I, I was talking about maybe last time or the time before. But they require you to do some stuff that is not pretty... <coughs> Ow! That's kind of counterintuitive or, you know, that you would never figure out on your own. You'd have to buy the, pre the Prima guide. <laughs> Y'all remember those guides from Prima games or whatever it was? <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> okay, this is not a good idea. I'm really screwing up. <coughs> Okay, so there's the, the map. Let's see. Oh, what the heck was I doing? Where was I before? Urgh! <laughs> Man, dude. Well, I blew that one. <laughs> Let's actually turn into a bat. Actually... Pillars right there. Right there. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I think this will be a good spot. Alright. I want to find that cave again where they had those weird statues. See if we can get some stuff. Oh yeah, we can see about, about this. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that works really well. My goodness. Gotta push this rock out of the way. Okay, maybe it doesn't work quite as well as I thought, but it does work. I just need to not... <laughs> okay, yeah. You just have to get like two hits on them before they get stunned. Interesting. Interesting! <laughs> Let's actually go down here. I think this is the cave I was looking for. Yep, yep, there they are. The spectral remnants of those people that we already drained. See that cool statue? Kind of looks like Goro from Mortal Kombat with a, a pair of horns. So much fear, Bart. Oh, please help me, kind sir. I am not a kind sir. There we are. That's enough oh, of training then. Help me, kind sir! Oh. It's kind of sad. Uh-oh, I wonder what 
that was. Triggered something. Kind sir. Flee, Paladin. I do not need your protection. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Let's look at the map. Who needs a map? I do. All right, cool. Well, that's that. Wow. You don't say. You don't say. We'll leave these people here, unfortunately, for a little bit longer. There's some magic and some blood <laughs> here for later. Interesting music here, I, I must say. Oh jeez, I was like sleeping on the job. Wait. Here. <coughs> yeah, that definitely works. Wow. Alright. Well. I think going north from here back to Vassarboom. Vassarboom is actually what's on the docket, because I think we can... Yeah, he's gonna just chase me, isn't he? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yes, right here. We can... More... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wonder if you can just leave them like stunned, will they recuperate eventually? Or what? Ooh, wow. Let's look at our map again. Look at this. There's all sorts of places to go. Oh, there's Vasavun. I wonder, we need to return here once we get the wraith form. I think. There's a lot of places we need to go with the Wraith form. Alright. Well, I had a little bit of a recording snafu. I... <laughs> so, uh, I'm here I am again, right where we were. So, yeah. So, this is what the mace lets, lets us do. Let's just stun our enemies and open up some new areas, new vistas. Let's see. Is there... Oh, that's right. Yes. But we are definitely going to need to get that other form if we're going to be that mist form if we want to really open up our travels I'm trying to think whether we should was there stuff to get was there stuff that we could get with our mace earlier on we may go back later on for now let's just go let's just run past these dudes Actually, what I'm going to do is go into this tent. Let's put on our disguise. Then we can just go through Bastard as well. There's a vampire. Then it disappeared. All right, ugh, stupid peasant. Breeze me, lord. <laughs> yes, me, lord. Alrighty, and here we are, and the moon is high in the sky, and, oh well, I guess we didn't, I don't know if they needed these, I don't know how you would have, oh jeez, well here, <laughs> three hits on that guy, those dudes with the, the buckler, sword and buckler fighters. Vey <laughs> Victus! Vey Victus! Oof, these guys are <laughs> these guys are kind of intimidating. I will I will say, they they do a good job of making their presence felt. <laughs> Wait. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> I wonder what happens if I just leave him. Will he come back conscious again? Oh, yes, they will. May Victus! We'll just leave him alone. We don't need blood. Here is a cave, and there's a... Let's actually look at this right quick. Okay, so... Oh, look at this! Treasure trove. <laughs> May Victus! You, sir, are you... Oh, I hit something again. My goodness! <laughs> wow. Need some supplies there, Kane? The blood of ages oh. flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Yes, ma'am. What is this one going to do, I wonder? Your magic energy recovers more quickly for our blood enhances. enhances. Very good, wow. Well, that's kind of cool. May Victus! May Victus! Years ago, word reached us of a strange pestilence that had laid siege to a few remote villages far east, but the rumors failed to prepare us for the horror that was the plague. May Victus! All right, y'all. <laughs> okay, I don't know why this is not working all of a sudden. Oh, no, no, that's not going to work. You have to hit them, pal. Hey, Victor! <laughs> Maybe there's a minimum range that you have to be at. So apparently we're going to encounter the plague soon. That's, that's great. Ew, oh, they're dead. Look at that. Dead bodies. And here is one of those moon doors. Worms and maggots fed upon his festering skin. The scent of tainted blood seeped through the wounds upon which they feasted. Pity. Such a waste. Good blood gone bad. Oh, that's, 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 that's nice, King. See, if this is a new moon, a full moon, I mean, a full moon, I think, this would be open. May Victus! Just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't open those with the, the mace. Let's take a look at our map again. Make sure I'm not missing something that was obvious. It looks like, oh, there's something up right up there. Corhagen, my home. The finest city in all of Nosgoth, rich in vanity and conceit. I had no delusions as to the welcome I would receive. Yep. His home. It looks like Corhagen's been overrun by the plague. Yikes. What's this? No telling. Looks like the... The dude for the, at the mortuary himself is dead. Oh, look at that plague cart. I think, though, maybe I will save this for next time. So let's actually... Hmm... Turn into a bat. And next episode, we'll go explore Quarhagen, his home. Let's see, where's a. Yeah, right here's. There is a save spot right inside this. This building, this temple, this shrine. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, you want a mace fight? <laughs> yeah, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> or we got the light spell. Next time we'll fly back up there and then make our way into Korhagen. Yes, let's save. Save again just for insurance purposes. And so I want to say thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Blood Omen here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. 
we've defeated Nepraptor. That's always kind of cool. Let's actually look at the... Was it... Uh, one? Items? Right here. Nupraptor's head. Alas, poor Nupraptor. I knew him well. Well, not really. <laughs> I always love that. Alas, poor Nupraptor. I knew him well. Well, not really. Kind of a, a play on that line from Hamlet. Oh, was it? Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A man of infinite jest. People always say that line wrong. They always say, I, alas... Poor Yorick, I knew him well. And Hamlet never says that. He says, I knew him, Horatio, because he's talking to his pal Horatio. But, you know, whatever. I always love that. You know, Kane showing that he's an educated bloke. Apparently Shakespeare exists in this world as well. Seems fitting, perhaps, although, I don't know. I just don't know. How did the, how'd the bard manage that? I guess it's because he's Shakespeare. But anyways, so, take care, y'all, and I will see you next time.